Very pleasant, 12 degrees, great for racing, and the horses are moving in behind the gate. Let's go up to Reg Gordon right now. Thanks, Marty. And the horses and drivers are now moving in behind the starting gate. Post time for this evening's first race, first half of tonight's Daily Double along the inside. It will be Son Sam's Boy. Link Stomar moving in next along with Kent Silster and Kentucky Crash. Espionage on the outside, Sparky Charlou and Hustling Hunt. And the current favorite at this time, number three, Kent Silster, going off at 7-5. to five. He's won four races this year from just nine starts. However, number four, Kentucky Crash, just coming off a win in 159-1, looked quite handy in doing it. We may hear from him in here as well. Horses and drivers are moving on through the back stretch, and there they go. And they're off and pacing, rushing on out after the early late links. Domar up on the outside, Kent Seelster coming to challenge. And now third along the inside, Son Sam's boy, Sparky Charlou, settling in fourth. Away fifth is Kentucky Crash, moving up sixth is Espionage. Trailing the field is Hustling Hunt as they race on over towards the quarter. The new leader on the outside now, Kent Seelster with Randy Kerr, racing along second is Lynx Domar. The first quarter was reached in 29-1, and one. racing on through the stretch for the first time. No change, Kent Seelster with the lead, and now rushing up very quickly on the outside. Here comes Kentucky Crash, in along the inside, Lynx Domar now third. Racing up on the outside with cover in fourth is Espionage, in fifth is Son Sam's Boy. Hustling Hunt and Sparky Charlou racing on over towards the half. On the outside, Kentucky Crash now coming on to take a short lead. That's Kent Seelster along the inside second. Espionage moving up on the outside. And the half was reached in 58 and 4 fifths. They're moving right along. Kentucky Crash coming away with the lead down the back stretch. Moving up on the outside. Coming to call is Espionage. Kent Seelster now third on the outside. Link Stomar fourth. Racing on fifth down the back stretch. And that is Hustling Hunt with Son Sam's Boy racing over towards three quarters. Kentucky Crash. Espionage just a neck away on the outside. Coming on third, Link Stomar. Kent Seelster along the inside. Past three quarters, 127 and three. There's they move on around the far turn. Kentucky Crash continues to lead. The espionage is second on the outside. Moving up now, here comes Link Stomar. Kent Seelster continues along fourth. Far outside, Hustling Hunt on through the stretch. Kentucky Crash pacing away. Espionage and Link Stomar. Kentucky Crash in 158 and 1. You can consider this a handicapping tip. When a horse moves from a 10,000 claimer to a 15,000 claimer, in other words, he moves up two or three notches instead of one notch, you better go to him. That's what happened with Kentucky Crash. He goes off as the number four horse, three to one on the board. After moving out of the 10,000 claimer tonight for 15,000, he jiggy jogs, taking himself a new lifetime record. He's owned by the Woodsley Double D Stable of South Woodsley. He was bred by Bill Ellerington of Exeter. Here's Kentucky Crash. He's on top by two and a half lengths as they come on down to the wire. He made his move just past the quarter pole, fought for the lead, took over the lead just past the half, goes on to win this one by four and a half lengths over number five, Espionage, and the two horse links to Omar finishing third. The winner of the first race, number four, Kentucky Crash, returned 810, 482 90. Number five, Espionage, $9.360, and the two horse links to Omar, $3. The four or five exactor paid $52.90.